Our guest today passionately believes in the power of being small. Bracken Darrell, the president and CEO of Logitech. To you, you don't ever think you're big. You're small, you're tiny. You're this little thing on planet Earth. I think, I think the real message inside the, the rest of that line is that, um, you know, just to be humble. And, uh, you know, humility is such a powerful thing. Maybe the most valuable thing about humility is that you, uh, you realize that you have so much to learn all the time, no matter what you're in. I, there are two words that I think uh, would be very helpful to take out of your vocabulary today. One of them is, uh, is success. <laughs> success is a very, very uh, slippery slope. I mean, once you think you've got some success, you want to protect it. And once you start protecting it, you stop taking the same kind of risks that you took to, to be, in quotation marks, successful. The other one you should eliminate is failure. Just replace both words with learning. So what's the single most important step you took to reinvent Logitech over the last eight years? I would say it was it was de deciding we're going to become a design company. I think there are three stages of design companies. Number one, most companies decorate products at the end. They create something and then they say, ooh, this needs to look good. And they decorate it. The second stage design companies, they actually build the product. If they're really good, they build the product around the user. A stage three design company, a third level design is the one I don't know of anybody doing, which is they then take design and they turn it inside and they, they treat every internal customer, including uh, let's say uh, in every process as if it could be a design process, a design experience for the user inside. And I think I've got a stage four design company, which I've never talked about before oh, anywhere. Wow. First time ever in public, a stage four design company would, would not only be amazing experience for users and not only be amazing experience for all the people who work there, but it would be amazing experience for, for and, and a brand building experience for every single touch that comes with the company. So Bracken, you're famous for firing and rehiring yourself as a free thinking newcomer. Uh, so what uniqueness does a newcomer bring? You know, you have something I've lost as a newcomer. I can never be a newcomer again it's because a newcomer's advantage is the fact that I've walked into my my um, desk area every day and I stopped noticing what color the carpet is and I stopped noticing what color the ceiling is and I stopped noticing what the I stopped noticing almost everything but the newcomer notices everything what are the actions that we should all be taking in creating a better future you know I, it's a it's such a big question and uh, you know one of the core beliefs I have is I love people. I'm such a believer in personal growth and I want to help pe other people, you know, use their, their uh, abilities to make the world a better place. What is one thing you own you wish you didn't? Everything. Because I don't really own anything. Because none of us do. We're just borrowing it. It's planet Earth's.